Hello everyone. This is Sipulation Processes course. My name is Saifullah and I am going to explain this course. First, I am going to give an introduction. This course is called Sipulation Processes. To start with, let's start by the title. This is Sipulation Processes. What do we mean by separation? Separation is the process of separating a mixture of two components or more. So at least we need to have two components or more, three, four, five, and we want to separate these components from one to other to some degree. We cannot separate perfectly, but we need to separate to some degree. Okay, and we need to separate our interested product from the others. And to start with, let's discuss different type of separators that we may deal in chemical engineering. First, uh, we have two we have two many different units in chemical engineering related to separation process like the absorber the absorber and stripper and membrane and distillation distillation column and uh, extractor and dryer and absorber etc the first three absorbers triple membrane you may discuss and the mass transfer course in this course we are going to discuss the other types like the distillation column the extractor and the dryer the main difference between this course and your previous mass transfer course is that in analyzing separators we have two different models so we have different models to analyze the separators first is called the rate based models and the second one is called the equilibrium based model what's the main difference uh, the rate based models which you have discussed in your mass transfer course as it's like when you say that any flow is equal to a mass transfer coefficient times the deriving force which may be at the concentration difference for the mass transfer okay so it's based on the rate and we are using a mass transfer coefficient which is k or f if you have a concentrated solution uh, anyway, it's a mass transfer coefficient. Okay, so it's like we have a deriving force and we multiply it by the mass transfer coefficient to get the flow. Okay, this is the rate based model which you have discussed in the mass transfer course. Now, in this course, we are going to discuss another type of models which is called the equilibrium based models. What do we mean by equilibrium based models? These models are based on having a data for the equilibrium. It is like when you have a two phase system. So this is the liquid and this is the vapor. And let's say you have two components, maybe component A and component B. They are in the liquid phase and they are in the vapor phase. And let's say the concentration in the liquid phase is X and the concentration in the vapor phase is Y. So to use the, the equilibrium based model, first you need to have a data for the equilibrium. What's the concentration? Uh, what's the mole fractions and the in the liquid phase and what's the corresponding mole fraction in the vapor phase? So you need to have this data before starting using the equilibrium based models.
okay on any information from where you can construct this table and then you can start your solution this is the equilibrium based models okay now let's talk about the other uh, about the other one in the title the title was separation processes so what do we mean by process what's a process a process is something that accomplish another something that's a simple definition of the process and we have many different types of processes first based on the time we can have steady state steady state process and we can have unsteady state process or transient process unsteady state or transit are the same ones uh, so these models are uh, these modes are based on the time we can have steady state process and un unsteady state process in the steady state process there is no change with time and in the unsteady state process the process change with time so this is based on the time and based on the streams we may have a batch process or semi batch process or continuous process in the patch process there is no feed and there is no products in the semi batch process we may have only feeds with no products or only products with no feeds in other words we may have only inlets without outlet or we may have only outlets without continuous inlet and in the continuous process we have a continuous inlet and outlet from any unit okay so this is an introduction based on the title now let's discuss what are the main courses that we need the previous courses that we need in this course first we need the material balance course we need the material balance course what do we need from this course we need to know how to do uh, a material balance on single unit multiple units uh, but without reaction I'm not interested on in chemical reactions in this course okay and also what do we need from thermodynamics mainly we need the equilibrium relationships we need the equilibrium and which equilibrium as you know we have two types of equilibrium in chemical engineering which is the chemical reaction equilibrium and the vase equilibrium mainly we need only the vase equilibrium not the chemical reaction equilibrium which you may discuss in your chemical reactor design course in this course separation process we need only the vase equilibrium where you have two vase system like for example liquid and vapor and you need some equilibrium relations to to deal with okay so that's what we need from the thermodynamics course and from the computer application course we need to know how to use ISIS to simulate to simulate some separation processes and from the numerical course from the numerical course uh, we need uh, we are heavily depend on the graphical solutions which is an approximate solution we are going to deal a lot with the graphical solution where you need to graph and then solve the problem okay so that we need from the numerical course also we need to know how to use the numerical integration to solve some problems as we will see in this course okay now i'm going to discuss what we are going to discuss in this course okay. in this course we are mainly going to talk about three uh, three units of separation only which are the distillation column we are going to discuss the distillation column and 
the extractor and the dryer but mainly we are going to focus on the distillation this is our focus and then we are going to discuss the extractor and a little bit of the drying process and and in analyzing the distillation column we are going to discuss two types of operating modes which are the steady state and the unsteady state okay and in analyzing the extractor we are going to discuss only the steady state process dryers we are going to discuss the steady state process mainly and the unsteady state will be discussed as a theory part okay and uh, for the distillation for the distillation either the steady state process and unsteady state process we are going to discuss two different types of columns okay which is the single the single stage distillation and the multi-stage distillation again in the extraction process we are going to discuss same the multi and single stage uh, processes and in the dryers well, I'm not going to discuss these types we will discuss other types as you will see later okay but uh, an important question is what do we mean by single stage distillation and multi-stage distillation or single stage process in general and multi-stage process in general what do we mean by a stage what do we mean by a stage itself a stage is a place where the liquid and vapor or gas meet each other and we are going to assume that the equilibrium is reached in this system and a stage could be a plate or anything that where the liquid and gas or the paper met each other okay so this what do we mean by a stage and in separation process we may have a single stage like only this it's a single stage where we have the liquid and vapor meet each other on this stage maybe we have this is the feed and this feed contains liquid and vapor and i provide a room for them so they meet each other and then give me two products this is the feed and this is the vapor product and this is the liquid product and each one with the different compositions okay so this is the single stage where we have only one place that the liquid and vapor can meet each other but what do we mean by a multi-stage process a multi-stage process where we have a column we have a big column where we have too many stages where the liquid can meet the vapor so it is like see this one but we have it many times we have it here 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 okay so each one is like this each one is like this okay so this is called the multi-stage process the multi-stage but this one is called the single stage process okay and we are going to discuss both we are going to discuss both of them the single stage process and the multi-stage process as we will see inshallah in the next video Thank you for your thank you for watching and I'm wishing you all the best